and it's not over. It's never over, but I won. <laughs> Uh, oh, so, oh, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa! That's yeah. headline. You bet we buried the lead already. Yeah, yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. After six months, of fucking since the willy nilly incident uh, and countless letters involving Congress, nah, uh, whoever else, I don't know. I didn't get cc'd on the letters, but my uh, wife wrote the letters. They were ignored. The fucking post office people were assholes. Fuck you, Miss Who? This lady call, hung up on my wife, and my wife was being her most. Well, I mean, I would have hung up too, to be honest. But that's I'm you know, I'm too close to the situation. I would have hung up knowing where it was going. You know, it's like that Katy Perry. Uh, not Katy Perry. Who's the politician lady? Katy. Well, how did, you get, how did you get Katy Perry to get a politician? Um, wait, 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 wait. You know, I got it. I got it. Katie Hill. Yeah, Katie Hill. She's like that. She she gets the gets not, you to not fuck a up. Pop star. She goes, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a little different, but she, well, she did she uh, she did acquire fame at pop mm-hmm. star levels for about a week or two when her sex yeah. tape came out. Oh yeah, that Katie. The other the other one in Congress. That's the, that's the one I'm oh. talking about. No, you're up. Oh, fuck. I, anyway, <laughs> where'd Chad go? Some, some I don't know. Chad's me. gone. Yeah, I think my internet's fucked. I'm going oh, we'll, we'll to switch uh, to. I'm going to switch to another thing and see if it helps. So, but yeah, like I said before, it's like that episode of uh, South Park where Cartman's like, uh, anyway, it's like, a, you know, just, just like I said, hey, man, just let Cartman do it. You know, just let him let it go. It'll be much easier on you. That's what I want to tell that motherfucker willy-nilly up the hill where post postman to say you're gonna lose dude eventually you're gonna lose and it's gonna fucking come back to you so just fucking let me do what i want <laughs> i do what i want and uh you make a compelling argument yeah oh well uh, yeah the the big thing is though so yesterday it's rare, that, it's rare that a postal employee wouldn't understand that logic he's an <laughs> asshole here's the problem <laughs> He's a fucking asshole, and I'm a dick. And he wasn't letting me top him. Uh, you know, he's an asshole so, with an attitude. So I'm what's gonna... so what's happened? You haven't described they, it. You okay, said so you won, but then you Yesterday, my wife blathering on the phone. I figure it's the fucking Jovies. Or... I kind of hope this doesn't carry downstairs because I'm going on a trip <laughs> with her tomorrow. Nonetheless, the fact that, you know, fucking Joby blather, blather and on and on. And then I hear, oh, oh, the, yeah, well, my, you know, I, I get the gist that it's about the mailbox. Like, fuck shit. And she was on the phone for about 45 minutes talking to this guy. Uh, and and uh, so she says, oh, you know who that was? I, I, I don't care. Is a Joby, you know, uh, I'm not interested. <laughs> but she said, uh, it's, uh. you know, it was the post uh, the postmaster of Eugene. Like the fucking Dalai Lama is calling us the Dalai Lama, <laughs> and uh, and all these letters we you know the same letter uh, we sent several times. It's like they're all on his desk, along with the complaints and the other shit. And uh, he calls up and he's like, you know, he he apologized a bunch on the phone to her, uh, which I can say because he told me that anyway. So. Uh, this morning uh, at nine, between nine and nine thirty, we were supposed to expect the postmaster. And I'm um, at, uh, wait, wait, you, you were expecting the postmaster, yeah, of Eugene come, at your house. Yeah, he come up. He's like, uh, you know, uh, fucking buck stops here type of guy. You know, he's got all these complaints and uh, or these letters and stuff. And months, months ago, you know. Uh, months ago, it was like five, six months ago, I put down that mailbox starting a war, uh, with a fuck, I, you know, as soon as I put that, that box in and cemented it in, I fucking had an enemy. The motherfucker <laughs> did not want to fucking give man. And I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I'm look, man, you can fuck with me and, and get away with it, but you're going to get stung in the face by yellow jackets pretty soon. <laughs> you know, I'm Just starting like to you. see. I'm starting to see evidence of them. I got a bee suit. Uh, uh, who sent me that? I forget who sent me the bee suit, but I got a bee suit and I can dig up bees. I can get the queen, uh, you know? Don't fuck Wait, with is, me. Are we talking about a beekeeper suit or a bee suit where you look like I have a, a bee? Don't... Well, I have a sting proof. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> either way, it's formidable. Either way, yeah, either like, way, yeah, go something crazy. Queen. 
Right. Yeah. I mean, like, anyway, I mean, all I wanted was peace. And, <laughs> and I got, and, and, and like a, a, like a Palestinian, I got a fucking dirt clod chucked in my face when I was like <laughs> trying to make peace out there. And, uh, so, uh, so today I met with the postmaster and his assistant. Here's the thing that, uh, so the lady who hung up the bitch, South Eugene cunt, uh, I don't know her name. She hung up on my wife who was being, I will say at this point, reasonable, if not redundant. And she just hung up on her and then refused to take her phone call. And so, you know, oh, anyway, the postmaster said he may, after talking to my wife, he may go pick her up and bring her up. Cause that was actually her job to come out and fucking look at this shit from a fucking human human standpoint use your human eyes look at what we're saying and then you can pass on it you can fucking roll down the hill but she never got a hold of us never did her job at all so now this guy's saying he's gonna go pick her up and bring her up here so i'm like oh fuck uh <laughs> you know I'm, I'm out there waiting and waiting and i'm driving back and forth down the hill to see if anybody's coming up and uh and then i see this uh big rig like i thought to myself, I'm thinking, too big of a rig. The male postmaster would roll in a four-wheel drive, big badass black truck with <laughs> veteran plates on him. Uh, and then I come up, up the hill, and that truck was parked in the driveway. And there was, a, I'll say gentleman. It was a gentleman walking down the driveway and a gentleman scrutinizing the mailboxes. So, hey, Andy, is he, like, rolling up like, uh, like, uh, like in Caddyshack? When uh, when Roddy Dangerfield has the boat, he's oh, just plowing no. through. He, he rolled up like a uh, fucking General Patton rolled through the uh, whoever. <laughs> I don't know. He rolled through some motherfuckers, and he is on his like it was just like you know it looked like an official like like the cops might be here, fucking yeah. truck, and this guy's out and he's fucking dressed like a you know like gentleman dress. He's like you know businessman. Dude. Businessman, I can tell right away he's a postmaster, fucking general. And uh, and I get out and I say, "Hey, man, are you guys here to inspect the mailbox?" And he goes, "Yeah." He goes, uh, "Are you Andy?" And yeah, I'm Andy. Uh, do you listen to the podcast? <laughs> no. Why <laughs> can't Clearly, your fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just you know, it's cool to just meet people. <laughs> and, uh, so. Anyway, you know, we look over the situation and he's like, well, what's the, you know, explain to me what's going on. And I, well, and I go, well, the mail, you know, I talked to the mailman about this. Uh, and he, and he, so I had my willy nilly post is still there. Wait a uh, minute. Wait a minute. Before we go any further, let's at least take a moment of silence, uh, in honor of the postmaster general who asked Andy a very simple question. So what What's going on out here? Yeah. That's yeah. how it starts for this poor <laughs> bastard. That's where it starts. He clearly does not listen to the podcast. <laughs> and, and what's interesting oh, is yeah, that's clearly. the one thing the postman never did. He mm -hmm, just made right. a fucking assumption and ran with it. And all he had to go is like, hey, what's going on here? Yeah. And yeah. And clearly, he ran, totally. I don't know that he rang twice, but he would have. <laughs> <laughs> but so I, I, I interrupted your flow. So you told no, no. the postmaster uh, general. <laughs> Well, we looked over the situation. It's like, uh, you know, I'm like, uh, I'm playing the part of, uh, hey, man, you know, my wife's blind. And uh, the, the mailman said I couldn't put my box here because it was all willy nilly. Uh, and he goes, uh, what do you, you know, like, and he says, you know, <laughs> he didn't see, understand he said, your technical lingo. <laughs> well, that's what, no, I'm, you know, that's what he says is willy nilly. And I go, you know, the reason I put it here. And, and I did look over the blah, 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 the things. And I go, you know, thought this was the place to put it, you know, looking at everything. And, you know, and uh, he goes, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, so and then I go, well, where our box used to be is up the the slant up this, you know, it's cross and up a, a steep ass hill. And and where any fucking even I, you know, well, uh, I'm not like that mobile, but I'd get hit probably possibly you know i i might be in danger and i'm aware that people might try to run me over so you get a blind person out there with their fucking stick or whatever she ain't gonna you know so that that was one but that where this guy told us was on our side but down this slope down this this you know a steep pitch and uneven ground and shit and uh and that that's the fucking that was it i mean you know and uh and then he's like right. 
it's like there's no you know uh, he looked at it and the postmaster general he was the mili- he's military that's probably why he's you know brass and he went down there he goes let me just walk this off and he went down there and he goes 21 paces 21 i go yeah human souls 21 grams <laughs> I just, just of like, course you, know, you did. I hit trivia. He hit me with trivia with 21 steps. I go, we're, he goes, we're talking about 21 steps here. I go, I know, right? And uh, so he, he uh, uh, so anyway, he goes, uh, he goes, man, he goes, I'd like to drag everybody from that post office branch up here and put them in blindfolds and have them walk up your driveway and try to find your mailbox. And I go, yeah, man. I go. I can, you know, probably find some things to <laughs> cover the eyes with. <laughs> can we get some footage? Can we get it. some footage of that for the podcast? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Uh, it's yeah. Like shotgun. <laughs> yeah, like he wanted to. He, I mean, he was legitimately like, you know, buying all of it. And and I'm not. None of it's. Just, I may misrepresent a few things in my favor or whatever, but what? for the most part, I'm being honest. And as the postmaster general said, and his partner confirmed, I'm a very reasonable man. <laughs> so. Clearly doesn't listen to the podcast. Yeah, you, so I got that You did a good job pulling the wool over their eyes. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. Very stable exactly. genius. Yeah. So reasonable and and uh, oh, here's the they were we were uh, all sitting there and he was like, man, I think we could use one of them big uh, boxes that uh, and they, we needed two or three more mailboxes in the area, but I could have made everybody move up to me. Like he wanted to put one of them. Two thousand two hundred dollar metal boxes there with about eight mailboxes on it, but then we decided, you know, let's just <laughs> let's not willy nilly other people, bro. Uh, you know, can I have permission to speak, on it, General? Uh, and uh, so, well, see, that's up. pretty smart, actually, not to to mess everybody else up because you look back at all of these all of these other uh, giant wars on this same sort of of level. It's always afterwards that they screw it up. You know, they they put a line through some country and they make it, you know, they they take Bosnia and Serbia and make it Czechoslovakia. And then it ends up being another fucking issue. So, you know, the same thing happened with with Germany at the end of World War One. And this this epic battle is much the same. But now that it's over, you don't want to move a whole bunch of other people around because then that could lead to possible battles and skirmishes down the road. You should have tried to see if you could at least get the uh, dog shit guy's mailbox moved over <laughs> two years. Oh. Just he has to walk all the way over. Yeah. I've been, I've been pretty why? lame on that guy. I, like, why just me? Uh, <laughs> I haven't. I, I, I think I said uh, your husband's. And I walked by there the other day and I was wearing a mask. And the, uh, there was a lady out there planting flowers. And I just said, hey, your husband's a fucking asshole. And kept what? walking. Well, I mean, I didn't. I don't want to. I don't want to leave anyone out in this situation. <laughs> Come on. You know? I mean, you, you, can, you can focus on a. Uh, you can focus on the postal situation, and then let you know. Then this guy's down here thinking he won. Well, <laughs> maybe Andy was just doing a, a good deed. Maybe she doesn't know her husband is a fucking yeah. asshole, and he's maybe just letting no her clue. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm wound up from the victory. But uh, so <laughs> this was about 10 in the morning, 10 in the morning. And I got I had a lot of shit to do today. I got a pack. <laughs> I haven't done. Uh, I had made uh, fifty. Uh, well, 45. Sand- well, no, I made 30 sandwiches to hand out to the homeless. Uh, me really? and, yeah, me and I, James. I, I, the- Andy, I, I saw that on Twitter. You and uh, James Frost. Yeah, we've been our, well. Our, we did it. We our, went out and did it the other day, and then yeah. today we kind of like, okay, let's give it. We didn't have water, you know. We like we want to make you know custom lunch. You know, what do you want? Uh, they all homeless <laughs> well, people. Careful. People, they well, all careful. Like you start asking questions. Oh yeah, man! I, I got I got in a fucking altercation with a guy who was like. He was like, he just come out of his tent, and I go, hey, man, how's it going? He goes, ah, it's going fucking shitty, you fucking blah, blah, blah. Negative energy. And I go, yeah, I hear you. And he goes, what do you know about it? I'm like, you got me. <laughs> like, you, wanted to knock, you know, I got some situations, man, you know. Uh, nothing that is, you know, okay, man, you're living in a tent up against the uh, fucking bridge, and you're, you're a fucking hoarder, and <laughs> you got problems. But... 
anyway, so it's a it's it's been that's been fun handing out. It's it's almost as if you intentionally walked into a camp full of mentally ill people, exactly. and then seemed surprised by their reaction. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Meth doesn't do affect your ability to eat cookies. <laughs> I mean, it might hinder your it does chewing. Mine. Yeah, but they yeah. still like the You just got to suck on them for a while till they melt in your mouth, probably. Yeah, today, t- the first day we, we, you know, we met, there was this group and we hung out with these these dudes that were, you know, ripping on each other. Kind of, you know, it was fun, you know. And, uh, but anyway, we went back today and fucking sandwiches, clean socks, uh, you know. I, I, you know, I'm sure working, I'm trying to, the reason I'm doing it is to get back into <laughs> comedy. <laughs> like uh, to go down, you know, the, it's a small bum audience. roasts. It's yeah. like bum fights, but they're yeah. just the bums insulting each other right. under the yeah, bridge. Yeah, they're in tents, and I go up there and I go, "Hey, man, you want a sandwich?" Yeah, from the tent. I go, "Well, unzip your fly, and I'll give you a sandwich." <laughs> no, not, no, it's not maybe club ready or whatever, but uh, a bunch of dirty, uh, dirty fucking uh, people down there, and uh, they, you know, it's. it's uh, it's great, you know. Uh, they all, and then you know, most of them expect you to talk about Jesus or God or something. And I'm like, <laughs> no, man, just take the sandwich. Uh, you know. <laughs> Unlike Jesus, when Jesus when Jesus did it, he had an unlimited supply of fish and bread. I got about forty sandwiches, so I, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> and there ain't no re up and uh, so. But uh, you know, it feels it's. I don't know. It, it's like that kind of thing. You go like, I'm doing this as a good deed or whatever. I don't even give a fuck about that. It's like this, everybody needs a sandwich and they're all hungry and it's like they appreciate it and they say, God bless you. And I'm like, don't bring him into this shit. You know, yeah. it has nothing to yeah. do with him. He's the one who yeah. put you out here. He tried <laughs> to talk me out of it. God, yeah. 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 God gave me a bunch of reasons why I shouldn't be fucking around <laughs> with you people. Uh, oh, and if you have a chick that you're fucking and you don't have a home, that ain't your woman. That's your street bitch. <laughs> this guy goes. Oh, did you uh, learn this today? Yeah, he goes. Uh, I I go here. He has a sandwich, and he goes. Hey, could I get one for my street bitch? Yeah, sure. You know, fuck. I don't. <laughs> I'll, uh, take one for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so anyway. So I was fucking had that to do. I knew that I had yeah. all this tuna fish, and 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 by the way, James makes oh. peanut butter sandwiches, which Wait people will tuna take. fish. Yeah. Oh, tuna yeah, because fish. James handed out tuna or peanut butter sandwiches, and everybody took them. But I could see a scent. I could sense the disappointment. Yeah. I've been down and out yeah, and slept with not... my head on rocks well, and have filthy hands and and been. Yeah, candy. but I've eaten the two. I've eaten the fucking peanut butter jelly sandwich that sat in a car for two days. Yeah. Right, it's still that's okay. Why, that's tuna why fish. I serve mine chilled. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, yeah, and I put relish in it and mayonnaise, and that's about uh, it. But I uh, handed them out and I almost, well, I got rid of the tuna way before James got rid of the peanut butter. Like, would you mm-hmm. prefer peanut butter or tuna? They were like, <laughs> fuck, man, are you kidding? You got tuna? <laughs> <laughs> yep. That I, is true. They probably used to eating just fucking fingerfuls yeah, of peanut butter. butter. I mean, yeah. yeah. My favorite, my favorite. I, and you, you know, when you have a bunch of unwanted people, it's wrong to pick a favorite. <laughs> But I did pick a favorite, and he he was just like woke up, and he, and he used the rock like gravel for pillow, and his fucking head was all fucked up, and uh, you know from sleeping on the rock, and his hands were filthy as though he dug a fucking hole with them, it was like the filthiest fucking hands I've ever seen, and uh, and he had he was in a pretty decent mood, all things considered. <laughs> You know, like I have belly ache a bunch about it. You wouldn't fucking hear nothing else but me go, fuck, man, look at this shit. You know, I'm pitching gravel out of my fucking forehead at that. Time. He's like, uh, oh, it's going good, man. And I go, you want a sandwich? You go, yeah. Shit. And cookies, hell yeah. You know, uh, so that, that you know, I'm not taking bringing them home or nothing. But if I had to pick a favorite, that was my favorite. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, so I'm... Uh, <laughs> I know I have to help. Andy, are you teams. telling us you played oh. rock pillow sandwich with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get a little selective. You're like, because uh, I, 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 I mean, okay, there, you know, even the most empathetic fuckhead. All right, I, I got a bag of the snack chips or whatever, like three or four mm-hmm. different kinds. Uh huh. I didn't give out my favorites. <laughs> you, kept, you kept the flaming hot Cheetos for yourself. Everybody, 
Everybody, no I got, chips everybody are for me, I James. got some chili Fritos. Here you go. <laughs> you want some oh. lesser chips? <laughs> but I did. I doled those out. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I had a deadline. I was like, fucking got to get, you know, I got to feed the hungry. I got to meet with the general. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> him. Uh, I like that hand, handing out tuna sandwiches to homeless people was on the list before packing for your trip. I like uh -huh. how you prioritize things. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm not going to go hungry if I don't get enough underpants in my bag. <laughs> I, I'm also <laughs> imagining the stories of the homeless people tonight. Uh, hey, what the yeah. fuck was up with tuna sandwich guy, man? I was yeah. sleeping. That motherfucker just came over and gave me a tuna oh, no, sandwich in my oh. tent. Yeah. Well, one guy talked about Satan. Uh, don't let the don't let demons get you down. I'm like, why would I, man? You know, I have to live with them all the time. And then he said something about. You know, you, if you shit your pants, let it go. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, he isn't seemed, that how you shit your pants? Right. That's, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah you, you know, let them go. You, accept defeat and get rid that, of them britches. That, that <laughs> seems like a homeless <laughs> rule. That doesn't yeah. seem like a generally applicable rule. That seems specific to being yeah. homeless. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is I mean, good I, advice. I but, think you want to make sure that you don't shit your pants enough to have a rule about it. Uh, well, yeah. my well, my rule is to take a shower and get new pants. I mean, right <laughs> yeah, away and yeah. wash those ones. I'm yeah. just, they don't have that option. So my I rule guess, of thumb when whatever. shitting my pants is don't smell your thumb. <laughs> 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 get to some water. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so the good news from the general was like he couldn't believe it. He, he you know, I, uh, you know, I said. Yeah, you know, I I got people in trouble without, you know, I was like, you know, I can't believe that lady hung up on my wife. Who my wife's done a lot of when she, uh, before she went blind. She used to write uh, legislation, you know. I she, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't listen. I assume She's that a part valued of it. member of the community, right? And, that's a yeah. and and then I I said, you know, when I talk to the mailman, I I say, hey man. Uh, I'd like to get the mailbox up here where it's level, so my uh, blind wife won't have to struggle. Yeah. And and then I go, where would you suggest I put it? And he told me down here. And I said, well, I think my wife will fall and get injured if she's down there. And he said, I don't. That's where it goes. That's it. So I mean, and Ooh, those guys, they, they seemed like they were driving to the South Eugene uh, uh, post office to light some motherfuckers up. That he goes, that we're even out here is ridiculous. Yeah. We, yeah. that we, you know, like they're too big, they're, they're downtown, post yeah. you know, the fucking general, you know, when the general goes to the front lines, <laughs> it's fucking trouble, man. Yeah. And it wasn't trouble for me because I was reasonable. And he said, I think where you have that post is perfect. That's where the mailbox goes. Perfect, he said. Yeah. Nice. But that one perfect. didn't support the heavy metal mailbox I got. So I sawed that down and I cheated it three <laughs> feet over in my direction and I went about in the most fucking, like, panicked. Like, I was like, God damn it. Okay, the mail comes about 12, 30, and I have to get some fucking homeless people sandwiches together. I got to go get a red balloon uh, uh, to put on. So, oh, well, I mean, that was the, that was the, rain, uh, the uh, ribbon on top of it, but... So there's a plate. You, anyway, I put this <laughs> plate on this thing, and I don't like fucking directions or, god damn it, you know. It's like if I can't, my eyesight, I can't what, even fucking. What's going on no, right now? I don't know. We're all trying I, to think of what the red balloon could be for. I think uh, it might be for muting uh, uh, drugs uh, in an uh, anus. I, oh. I, I'm gonna guess it's to tie onto the new mailbox as a yeah. fuck you to the mailman. Yes. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and my neighbor lady goes, I was like hurrying her, Good speeding one, around and carrying some men up there, dragging shit. And she and I go, she goes, you get your mailbox down? I go, I'm trying, but I got to go get a red balloon to put a big fuck you on top of it. Uh, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> also, you know, the movie It, you know, it's menacing, you know. I, I, that's uh, what I thought it was. Yeah, I, well, I mean, both. I wanted him. And so well, the problem why would was. you summon a clown, Andy? <laughs> Huh, I don't You're know. Scared of clowns. That's what <laughs> oh, like, oh, well, confused yeah. me. He's like, why is Andy fucking summoning the it clown with a red balloon? Yeah. I wasn't. Right. I didn't think Sorry, I would I be didn't summoning. I didn't, I didn't think of it. Maybe I would summon a clown, or I wouldn't have done it. But <laughs> so I worked. I worked as hard as I've ever worked in my life to get the mailbox set. 
and all that. But I just like one person, I, oh, I broke my post hole digger I've had for like my whole, well, I inherited it from my father-in-law and he put some real effort and he always told me to oil the handles and take, you know, like, yeah, all right. Uh, which <laughs> I didn't do. And today was the day it broke. I'm about, you know, I finally break the ground and get enough dirt out <laughs> and the fucking post hole digger breaks. I, God damn it. I'm not good. So I just get a, a little trowel and I dig it out as you know, digging, fucking sweating and shit, yelling, fucking faggot. Not at anybody in particular. I'm yelling it at myself, at the post and all that shit, you know, trying to do a one, two person job by yourself yeah. in a hurry. With and a the hand dead, tool. Yeah. And I got it deep enough and everything. And then I'm like, and then I put the plate on. <laughs> screwing it on and then like, fuck this man i got an electric drill but i never charge shit so it's i go down the hill and i get that and it's nothing and uh back to screwing them on and then i slide the mailbox up on there and it doesn't fucking line up with the holes uh, uh eight uh four screw holes in it with the spacers and i gotta slide it forward and I didn't measure it or look at it and uh, just estimate it, move it forward. Second time, the fucking screws don't line up. You fucking cunt. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. And uh, I got and, tuna sandwiches in my car. I got to get this it. done. Well, I hadn't made them yet. I did not assemble That was them. smart. Yeah, yeah, because you don't see that's what James does. Is he gets all his peanut butter and jelly and then it starts leaking too <laughs> Makes them too yeah. soon. I want, yeah. I want my, you know, it's like Subway. Anyway. So I'm fucking pissed off. It's like, and then a third time I do it, get the holes in there, dr- fucking, and, and, and it's still, I fucking did not, uh, oh, fuck. And then, so then I just fucking get rid of them. The screws are so stripped out by then. Then I just hammer, hammer nails in there. <laughs> and, and, uh, but that's just part of it. See, that just gets the thing on the pole. And then I got to attach oh, the mailbox, yeah. which there's a bunch of directions and shit. So Annie, what you're saying is, is you you're you you're trying to put the base onto the pole. Yeah, because and it's then you heavy. and then that that's where you're having the problem because now you then after that you got to put the mailbox onto the base which is now on the pole. Yeah, yeah, okay. and then cement and all that shit, and I start reaching the deadline of like, yeah, damn it, that mailman's gonna be humping up the hill here. So I run down and I look and I see him. Oh shit, there he is. He's a street below. I'm fucking running out of time. So I fucking uh, race down and get a red balloon, uh, and I uh, Love that. <laughs> I drag a I drag up the other mailbox that's attached to a pole, which I didn't cement in there. So I sawed the one down. So that post is gone. Oh, here's what happened on the big metal box, though. I finally get it on there. I fucking lined it up, and then I uh, look at it, and it's got a key that opens in the front, and then there's a key that opens in the back. But I have a overhang, and there's no way I can. I can access the mailbox with this fucking post that I have. So pretty much that's when I ran down, got the drug, the other one up, stuck it in the hole, uh, got, went down got the red balloon, tied it, tied it to the mailbox. And he's just down the hill at this point. And uh, this is like and, real ocean's he's, 11. Totally. He's, stand, like, he's standing there tiny. tapping his foot, waiting for Andy uh-huh. to tie the book. Come on, dude. I need to put that. Well, no, he's there. down the hill. I know his, he, I know his routine better than he knows mine at this point. You know, I've been stalking him for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the big thing is I moved the box up 21 steps, you know, and uh-huh. I 21 steps. And then uh, up across the street, there's a grassy knoll and, a, and some brush I can hide in. So I, uh, you know, I fucking drop that box. I don't even have time to put anything in to secure it. I tie the balloon and I run across the street and uh, the balloon blows off. <laughs> Fuck. Motherfucker. There goes the balloon. Half of, you know, half of the spot. But I know this moment. Tell me you chased it. No, I watched it go up and like, ah, damn it. You know? <laughs> so uh, then I go up and I'm like ready to film the motherfucker coming up over the hump. Oh, here oh hold on a second. It's egregious enough. <laughs> you put a fucking balloon with like, basically <laughs> it is, it is a, it is a, a, a subtle fuck you. But you're gonna be there with a fucking video camera. He's hiding, hiding. Yeah. Hidden, yeah. hidden in a bush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hiding. 
So I was up across and uh, waiting, and then I, I could hear his truck. And then it goes on by my, so he goes up and drives past it. And then I'm thinking, okay, he's going to walk back to it. And then he delivers a package and then does a U-turn and misses it. So I'm up, oh, you fucking cunt. He's, you know, either we don't have mail or he committed a federal crime. <laughs> or he's looking for a balloon. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know. So I can reset tomorrow, uh, maybe. Yeah. But I didn't get any mail, and he drove on by, but uh, he, he knows he's beaten. He knows it's over. <laughs> he got chewed out for being a fucking cunt. Uh, no, the, the whole office. Yeah, the yeah, the, post his supervisor and out. him. There's, and, he, the, the postmaster general going out to a resident's house, yeah. that, is, that is being talked about yeah. in every fucking break room in yeah. every post office yeah. in yeah. Oregon. He yeah. held a meeting and bitched at them. Oh, Why am I getting the... called out for this kind yeah. of shit? Yeah. Twenty-one <laughs> steps, people. And, and he goes, he goes. Uh, one, well, this one guy. I think it was not the general. It was probably a corporal, <laughs> corporal specter or whatever. He said, uh, he goes. You know, if this guy just uh, uh, listens to you and your concerns. We don't have to come out here, and you probably have a lot better a attitude towards the post office. And I said, yeah, man, I go for a long time just to try to curry favor with that fellow. I had a sign up here that said I support the post office. And they laughed, and I go, and, and he goes, yeah, you know, all it takes is that. And, you know, you're, and I go, well, here's the thing is, I, you know, I'm a stand-up comic working nationally, I says. And uh, and I said, you know, uh, I'm not, you know, I says fast when, and loose when, with those facts. Yeah, when uh, something like well, this really happens, really. and I got a negative <laughs> attitude, I spread that. Yeah, I said I spread the negative attitude like wildfire, uh, you know. And we're standing in dry grass, so I guess everybody understands what that looks like. And then, and then this is when the postmaster general said, "Oh, really? You're a stand-up comedian." Uh, you got any anything I can look at on YouTube? And he whips his phone out and <laughs> plugs Andy's name in and watches the yeah, HBO I did down this thing on set. down and dirty. And then I wasn't real happy. And he said, yeah. "Like you know yeah, what? Actually, you can walk the twenty-one steps. Put the box back." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I looked. I, I dragged that box up, and it was like this big, thick railroad tie type of post that I uh, ripped off of something the other thing. It was like a guardrail. It was for a guardrail. It was this guardrail, and these were the beams that supported the guardrail. And Jesus, the guardrail. That's, not those there. are like eight by eight. Yeah, that's what my yeah. box is on. And Jesus then I'm like, Christ, you know, dude. I'm tucking that up over my shoulder, all Christ-like, and racing, you know, doing the 21 steps, carrying that, planted it down there, and then I was just fucking. Here we go. The money shot. The walk of shame. Here he comes. Here comes fucking willy nilly up the hump, and he didn't do didn't do the thing. So <laughs> I've won. It's just the victory party will be tomorrow. I yeah, you just haven't shoved it down his throat yet. Get that, get that camera set up out there. <laughs> yeah. You got to yeah, catch this action. I'm gonna, yeah, right. I'm going to sit out there with my lawn chair and wait for him tomorrow. <laughs> well, uh, no, you got to be, you don't want him to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would recommend the same vantage point filming yeah. just in case he is skipping you. Then mm -hmm. you have, oh, yeah. you yeah. know, proof. I, mean, Look, minute, man, guys, I will we have. Had the his... We had the Postmaster General. Out to Andy's house, I say you go on Craigslist and get a, a fake film crew from the new from the news out to <laughs> film the first oh. letter to the willy nilly box and you it's uh, all over, it's, how about it's a, band? Uh, yeah. get a band? A, a I tiny little get a, band. I guess probably <laughs> Dude, a, a fake yet, news crew. Yeah, it was for the dog shit neighbor. I know where I could. I know where I could get a band and and bring them together quickly. I saw uh, <laughs> down at the homeless camp a guy go by with a bass uh, on a skateboard. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a couple people with some beat up guitars, and I'm sure yeah. there's plenty of vocalists. That guy who says I don't know what fucking pain is, he Wait, can sing. A homeless guy holding a guitar doesn't mean he knows how to play it. It means he matter. probably either uh, stole it or he never wants to let it go. Would you, you rather, you know, I could get a band that made music or I could just have a bunch of fucking homeless people banging on instruments out there? <laughs> this band will play for peanut butter sandwiches, so I say you go uh, with these guys. Hey, I like hey, the, uh, hey, that, uh, hey, that bass needs a tune-up, and you need a tuna. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, it's fucking horrible. I should have uh, stopped uh, this. 
but congratulations, uh, so, yeah. Andy. Yeah. yeah. So, oh man, I, I you know, life, life is a, not a, about happiness, but I had a moment where I was like Tiger Woods fist pumping. I mean, not after the car crash. I mean, like after a, like, yeah, <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. Like, oh my God, my legs. <laughs> you just rolled in a thirty-six footer on the eighteenth green. Yeah, I fucking oh. yeah, I, yeah. I might wear a red red shirt with black slacks when I go out there. <laughs> yeah. oh. That's funny. You should do that. <laughs> 